Hey, welcome to Comic Get and TV. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoy it. Here we go. Donna Douglas. She got the part of Ellie Mae Clampett on the Beverly Hillbillies because the producers loved her in an episode of The Twilight Zone. It was called Eye of the Beholder from November 11th, 1960. Now, Donna didn't know that this was going to be a hit when she was filming it, but it sure turned out to be one real quick. As soon as it was released, people started demanding that they replay it. But also, it was so popular that Stuart Reynolds, a television producer, realized that he had put out stuff called Eye of the Beholder before. So he went ahead and sued them because he wanted to get some royalties off of it just because of the names were similar. Now, the writer and producer Rod Serling thought this lawsuit was ridiculous. Now, before he went to court to prove that it was, he went ahead and changed the title so they could do this rerun while it was hot, and he called it The Private World of Darkness. But later, he got to change it back to Eye of the Beholder because two songs can have the same title, two books can have the same title, two movies can have the same title, as long as all of the contents are different. So Donna plays the part of Janet Tyler, a woman living in a world where everyone has a pig-looking face except for her and a few other people. Now, if you don't have this pig face, you are shipped off to live together away from society. So Janet goes through experimental treatments, and they say this is her seventh and final try. If she doesn't come out with a pig face, she will have to live with the rest of the outcasts. Of course, when they unwrap the bandage, she's still beautiful Donna Douglas. And everybody freaks out, including her, because she thinks she's ugly. She thinks the normal people are ugly too, and they're scary, and she doesn't want to live with them. She's not happy with herself. You see how this is really deep, right? And of course, they have to get her and ship her off. Oh, it's it's a freaky scene. <laughs> it's actually a great episode. I'm describing it just sort of off the top of my head. You need to watch it. It's good. That's why it's a top five Twilight Zone of all time. Now, when Donna went in to try out for the Beverly Hillbillies and she started making it through all the audition processes, when she got in front of the producers, one of them goes, Oh my gosh. I remember you from the Twilight Zone. I loved you in that. It's one of my all-time favorite episodes. And so there was her brownie points, and he voted, yes, we need Donna Douglas to play Ellie Mae Clampett. Donna said, who knows what would have happened if I hadn't had that episode of the Twilight Zone on my resume, and if that producer wouldn't have remembered it and been impacted by it. Always take a role thinking this could be your big break. Give it everything you got. And never look down on something from face value. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to see the entire Donna Douglas story, great video right there on your screen. Click it. I have a lot of cool clips I found and more good stories about her journey into becoming Ellie Mae Clampett. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.